All right, guys, welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. Tonight is going to be fun. Yes, we're in the evening. Um, we're actually going to keep fish today. I've still got that uh, fish fry that's coming up. I need fish. I love keeping cold fish. One of the big advantages of fall and winter is that I think personally the fish are a little bit firmer and that's the way I like it. So um, I don't know if there's any truth to that whatsoever, <laughs> whatsoever. But we're going to have a great time because fish are going in a live well, cleaning them after the whole nine yards. Got the hammer tins ready. Look at those. Gosh dang. Gosh dang. You can pick those up at 3poundfishing.com. Let me just check, check this out also. The hair jigs. I've been talking about it made a bunch of new ones we're trying them out they're actually loaded on the hammer and i'll share with you what i'm trying they're not available of all that good stuff we're gonna see if they might not work who, might, who knows but anyway we're gonna have a great time that i promise and uh here we go And there's our first keeper. There's our first keeper. Perfect size, perfect eating size. Love this size. And this is the jig I'm trying out right there. Now, I'm not sure. It's not sold me yet, but that's it. Um, what do you guys think? Blackhead or chartreuse head? That's what I want to know. Blackhead or chartreuse head? I got a blackhead in the boat. We're going to try that as well, but this is the chartreuse head. Look at that school, guys. All right, so apparently I didn't have my video on the whole time I've been following this school, and I put about 10 fish in a row, 10 casts in a row, practically. It's ridiculous. So we've transitioned, we've ran into this school, and it has been absolutely bonkers. And this is winter fishing at its best. And we just ran up on this school and we've been on it now for, that's gotta be about 11 fish right there. And they're active, man. And all we do is we just stay on these schools as long as you can, man. Especially a big one like this, you just keep staying on it if it's aggressive. And if you get, you know, a school of 14 inches, uh, more like more times than not, it's a bunch of 14 inches. Uh, this is a bunch of good size eating fish right here. And Bam. See how they're grouping up now? Getting tighter. We like it when they're tight like that, man. Bam. Good fish here.
guys that was hilarious probably a total of 15 to 16 fish off that one school of fish just wandering around see if find a, a winter schooling you know winter school basically even though the water temperature right now is 65 degrees absolutely smoked them um, I wish I had the video on to show you guys all those catches or some of them anyway but either way it was like one cast after another one cast after another and uh, we're at least halfway to our limit already and we have been out here probably 30 minutes it seems like a lot of fun man when they're aggressive like that it just does not get better it's just my, my wrist literally on my right side is is hurting from setting the hook <laughs> and that's a good problem to have so yeah what a beautiful evening what a beautiful evening I don't like the days being short like they are now, but you know, that's okay. I take advantage of the morning hours now a lot, I'm trying to work out, do a lot of working out twice a day um, and making sure that I'm eating right. So look forward to a, a slimmer three pound fishing. So, all right, let's look, let's see what we got. Check out that sun, that sunset, man. That sun's going down, it's gonna go down quick, quick, quick. Uh, by the way, these hats, new lids, the blackened out three pound fishing logo on the cool camo um, hats, they're available on the website. Uh, definitely have a lot of new merch starting to hit the website in terms of clothing wise. I don't typically do that, but uh, I got them, because the new rods, people wanna wear three pound fishing, so hey, this, this hat here, smoking hot there we're just moving around right now looking for schools and when i think i find one i, I that might be i just might have just look at this guy right here here's the problem i have with this one it looks like it's moving around a lot it's probably crappie but also it's very deep so i won't even stop for that i won't even stop for that i'm looking for a school that's up 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 around the 12 foot mark and um that's close together knitted together very closely um, otherwise they seem to be a little uninterested I should say so all right let's yeah, that goes that turns into a school right there perfect turns into a school oh yeah baby love that great good fish good fish look at that school now guys look at that screen look at that screen freaking awesome I just gotta make sure I make my tosses. Whip out the last probably 10 fish. There he is. Try to make, you know, while I'm bringing in the fish, this is a tournament fish right here. That is a big fish. That's picture fish right there. We'll take a picture of that guy at the end here but that's a hog. But that shows you that every size fish can be in these, even though that first one was just an eater. But there you go. Let's see if any of them get excited. Yep, they're rising up for it. And we got them. Quick work of it tonight, guys. Unbelievable. Hopefully that guy will stay in. He's on the back of the boat now. This is one heck of an episode. This is schooling. I thought I'd be talking about the different color on that hair jig, but I mean, it's this is all about the beginning of the of the winter pattern. For sure. Look at these guys are a little bit more scattery now. Um, still catchable, but not as easy. But it looks like they're turning on it, which makes it, which see how they turned? They're turning up to it, and then you slow it down just enough to give them enough to feel like they can get to it.
Mm -mm -mm. That is a beautiful sight. Good fish here, man. Alright, we're gonna go clean. We gotta be really close to our limit. Boom. All right, guys, check this out. That's a limit pretty much in one hour. Okay, maybe not, 21 fish. So that was in an hour. That's pretty darn good. And we could have stayed out there and definitely got there, but man, what a great haul. I also wanna give a shout out to Killer Doc on these uh, extra deep buckets, customized. They're freaking awesome. Let's clean some fish. Here's a cleaning right there. Following the spine, nice and tight. Get every ounce of that meat off there you can. There's your fillet. There you go. Well, there it is, guys. Almost a limit in an hour. And uh, next time we'll be going back for the full limit, no doubt about it. I just playing it safe. I was keeping track, and so I missed it on the low side, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. But check out this, check out this sunset. Beautiful man, absolutely beautiful with those trees, unbelievable. So have a good one, guys.